Hey guys, I am back with a project share in my Saturday morning makes for the uh, video for the week. Um, this is a project that I started on Friday night and primarily finished it um, yesterday and then worked on it just a tiny bit this morning. Um, I actually have the day off of work, so I really wanted to get this done and get this video up. Um, this is a um, junk journal slash scrapbook slash memory book um, that is to be used to capture the first year of um, a newborn. Um, the paper collection I used is... This one right here from Echo Park. It is called Our Baby. Um, it's a to me it comes across a little bit more a little boyish, um, but it's you know these softer colors, the oranges and the the greens, um, the yellows, and it has uh, a lot of plaid elements here, um, and then it has a lot of uh, safari animals. So um, I made this book using chipboard, canvas, um, some acrylic paint, and then some lunar paste that I used to go over. And that's where, if you see the gold um, or the bronze, that's lunar paste. Um, and then I actually went through and covered it with some uh, Liquitex matte medium just to protect the cover a little bit. Um, on the front here, we have... Um, it was one of the uh, cut apart cards. Um, it had this little quote down at the bottom, so I just cut it up even further. It says, tiny feet live, leave big imprints on our hearts. Um, on the spine, I did, um, let me see if I can lift this up a little bit more. I did a, a chipboard piece that I embossed. And then on each corner, I added some metal uh, book corners that I got off of Amazon um, and it came with these three different colors. Um, so as I said, this is um, another one of my attempts at trying to be comfortable with my version of a junk journal. Um, as I mentioned in the previous videos, like I don't do super well at junk journals just because um, that's just not, I'm more of a clean and simple kind of person. So um I really, really love how this turned out. Um, I think I'm actually going to end up putting this on my Etsy. And I think I'm going to do it probably at a little bit of a discounted rate um, just because of my signature um, lines here. They're not as straight as I wanted. But um, if I do decide to put it in my Etsy, I will leave a link in the description of the video just in case if you want to go check it out, if you're interested, whatever. So the overall book itself is five and a half by seven and a half. Um, and I did it that way so the person who gets the book um, can use full five by seven photos on any of the craft paper and, and not have to cut them down. So I think that's everything I want to talk about on the book. So I will just show you the inside here. Um, this weekend I actually went to a... Let's see, it's called a Creative Reuse Store. It's called the Clever Octopus, and it's in Salt Lake City, Utah. And it has, like, all of these, I mean, anything you can imagine um, craft supply-wise. If it was going to go to a dump, this company, like, rescued it. So, I mean, it is just a huge place that has vintage paper and maps, and then it has all sorts of markers and crayons and, I mean all sorts of stuff. So I picked up a lot of things there. Um, and one of them I got was several vintage um, sewing patterns. So I took out one of the sewing patterns, I cut it apart, and I made a pocket out of it. And in the pocket I have um, just a little notebook here, so maybe that they can, you know, capture a little bit about the birth. I have some uh, cut aparts here that they can definitely fit three by four photos. And then I have um, a tag. So the book has uh, three signatures. And in each signature, it has about, um, it's, it's meant to capture four months at a time. So as I said, this is for the first year of a baby. 
so as you open it up, I have, um, excuse me, uh, when they are brand new, so obviously newborn, and then um, it tends to um, follow a pattern of the different papers I put in. Um, I have a little tuck spot here. I have some journal paper, and then I have the one month mark, and then some more paper, the two month mark. This is some um, vintage notebook paper that I got at that store in Salt Lake City. Um, I did not coffee stand or, or tea dye, um, or coffee dye or tea dye uh, this paper. This is just how it was when I got it. Um, then we have the three month mark and I, I tried to make these um, more tuck spots so that way the person can um, add a photo underneath there. And then it just kind of repeats in the next signature. So then we have five months. Um, I added a vintage um, book page. I have a little pocket here. I added an airmail envelope and open it up and we have some cards in there. This um, paper I also got from that um, Clever Octopus store and it had uh, several like piano notebooks from like the 40s so that's what this is and this one actually um, talks about baby's nursery so that's why I cut this one and added it to the book and we got some more paper and then it just uh, repeats again for the last uh, four months I do have some more Cut up parts in there from the paper collection. So one thing I've noticed when I make and sell these books is that people who buy them tend to not be huge scrapbookers. And I've probably talked about this before because it's like one of my main philosophies when it comes to making stuff. Um, I feel like they don't, they aren't comfortable with books that have just tons and tons and tons of like decorations and doodads and flip outs and like they just don't really know how to um use a book like that so I like to try and keep mine a little bit more simple and straightforward so that way if they're not comfortable with you know all of this different stuff in a scrapbook then they can just kind of keep it simple or if they are really into scrapbooking and you know they didn't want to make a book like this then um you know they can add all of their own stuff so yeah that is it and thanks for watching